I look like I've had no sleep. And that's because I haven't. Me and Dan are heading to the airport, where hopefully we're, we're both going to get the flight. But someone is staying here to look after the house. And I'll give you one clue as to who it could be. It's Scramble! Go on, give us a little Strictly Jig, Dad. Oh, okay. Okay, hello everyone. So, this could be a very, very interesting oh. twist in the tale of oh. Joe Cyglodmus. So let me give you some context. Basically, um, not too long ago, I applied for, I, I, I completely forgot that I had to apply for what's called an ETA to get into Australia. It's kind of like a sort of electronic. Which I had no idea. Yeah, so, so uh, yeah, and that you've been so busy, you would, it's, it's completely. I no, no, like, yeah. It's completely my fault that this situation has happened. But essentially, my visa is still pending. And I have, we got in last night from the from the uh, D-Rig party at what, like three, I think? By the time we got home, 3 a.m. I love that it's called a D-Rig party. Yeah, you can't <laughs> call it a rap party anymore. It's bad connotation to a rap party. This was very civilized, except for um, Amy Fuller giving it beans <laughs> in that break dance, in my word. Yes, Amy. But I tell you something, we have now got uh, a drive. We're going to the airport slightly earlier because I'm not too sure what's going to happen. You can imagine, I'm a bit of a panicker. I like to be at the airport early, I like to have everything organised. And I forgot, it slipped through the net about this visa. So it's currently pending. I'm hoping when we get to the airport, they'll be like, yeah, it's fine, come on. By the time you get to Australia, it'll be fine. If not, you'll get detained or whatever for a little bit of time until it comes through. Happy days. But it's not like that, is it, sometimes? I'm extremely nervous. I got no sleep last night, so I look like a boiled egg and feel like a boiled egg. And, and obviously if I can't fly, then what's gonna happen is Diane's gonna go, go ahead. I'm gonna stay maybe in a hotel in Heathrow, Which, maybe come home, I don't know. Under circumstance, I would obviously wait for Joe. Yeah. But I think with this circumstance, I've only got a short amount of time to yes. and I really wanna go see my dad. Yeah, so. so worst case scenario, Diane goes ahead, I have to wait somewhere for a day or two till my visa approves, hopefully, fingers crossed. And then I fly out afterwards, and then how would I get from Perth to where you live? Oh, I'd, I'd come get you. Would you? Yeah. That's such a long journey, though. It's all right. What a pain. It'd be quite a fun little trip. Okay. Anyway, it's it's chaotic. <laughs> I haven't edited uh, yesterday's vlog, so that's gonna be an interesting one as well. So we don't know if that's gonna we don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> so we shall see. But fingers crossed, and we shall hope for the best. <laughs> I'll update you. If nothing else, it makes a good vlog. It, yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's like what um, Grambo says, you know, if things go wrong, Grambo. vlog it, it makes interesting content. So yeah, so this could be interesting. I'll update you when we get to the airport. Stay tuned for, for more updates. You're yeah. gonna be fine and they're gonna be like, is that Diane from Strictly? <laughs> Love, don't you worry about it. Just get on that plane, we all fine. And of course, you're, we're now like superstars in Bunbury, so they'll probably oh, be yeah, like, you over the, there. Oh yeah, you're on the news in Bunbury, exactly. yeah. So. so over there they'll be like, oh, don't even worry about it, oh, we, uh, just jump on in. Fingers crossed, <laughs> we shall see. Hey, well, at least the sun's out here, so if all else fails, we're gonna have a little holiday here, look. Bask in the sun, but we have arrived at Heathrow Terminal 4, where my fate shall be decided in a matter of five minutes. If I was behind the desk, I'd take one look at me right now and I wouldn't let me on the plane, because I'd look like a corpse. What could have been? There, there, there. Hey, look, Dot. Next time. One day. Trust me. I was convinced. One day. I was convinced that you had it. I was convinced. One day. Here we go. Point of no return. Please, 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 please. Yeah, I told you I wasn't worried at all. Guys. We made it. Oh, I, was, I, was gonna, I was gonna make it suspenseful. Oh. <laughs> uh oh, we're about to get hit by a. By a lorry, but after a lot of nerves and a bit of time, we're going to Australia. Come on! So we're heading into the Qatar business class. Here, I I, you this have? I've not been here. I don't think. I don't think I have. Your parents would have. I feel like I'm in like a sci-fi movie. I feel like it's gonna be fancy on this. Yeah, it does. It feels very fancy. We're gonna take you guys along with it. Oh, little Christmas decorations outlet. Qatar getting festive. Are they real? Are they real orchids? Um, oh yeah. Oh, even real orchids. Yeah. It's very festive. They don't smell like my pine cones. We couldn't find a seat, but now we've gone into like a restaurant. It's like a full-on restaurant. Look at this. And the chefs are right there. 
cooking away and we've got like this fun like look at it i think the plane will be like this i haven't put any makeup on today like zero hey you still look beautiful with your mismatch earrings yeah, I know. I couldn't find matching earrings. Diane's literally having a sponge bath at the table. <laughs> show me the, show me the colour of that. I get real, like, am I real tan? <laughs> Is that tan or dirt? You can do your ass as well. She probably thinks you have wiped your ass with it. That, like... Quinoa and beetroot salad. Try that. Mm. Good That's like creme fraiche. Um, soft cheat, what's it called? Creme fresh? No, like, I think it's... Soft cheese? It's like... Mascarpone? No, like tahini. Oh, is it? Yeah, no, it's like, that's, tahini. um, like a soft cheese, isn't it? It's is like it? a Philadelphia almost. Oh my God, is this your one? Is that the beef? That is the beef steak. Look at that. Oh, oh my word. It's a bit, I bit, want to try some of that. bit fancy for it, isn't it? Do you want some? Do you want some? I want to try the beef. Lastly, we have mushroom soup <laughs> no, no. and for Diane's main course mm. she's got the pan fried salmon with couscous that's really nice good yeah also I just noticed these salt and pepper shakers are made by Peugeot what damn even these toilets are fancy and I've just looked at myself in this mirror and I hate it I feel like if I was flying with Tom we would very much get involved in this after the late night last night, and it's not even because of the drink, it's mainly because of the late night. Not for me. Sticking with the cups of tea. We got here about 50 hours early and now we're late. <laughs> Joe's on his laptop because he's, he's committed to his craft right now. He's literally holding his laptop, hoping that his next vlog loads before we get on the plane. It's okay, Joe. The flight isn't closing. <laughs> we'll get, oh wait, we're actually really far from the gate. Yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to upload whilst power walking through an airport. Can I stop and get something? I feel yeah, like I want to go shopping. It's it's stressing. This is remind me of the time when we were in Helsinki. We almost missed our connecting flight. There we are. Flight closing. 22. Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Can we have a lift? We're now running. <laughs> Only because this guy in front is also running. It's causing a chain reaction. No, but the thing is, we're going to be sat on a plane for the next 20 hours. So it's good to get some cardio in. There's our plane. Do you feel there? There it is. Plane's there. We're almost there. Could you imagine when you see it? There we go. We're nearly there. And we can relax. We can relax. It was like properly closing there, like one of like, the last ones to get on the plane. Here we go. This is our new living quarters. I'm a neighbour. <laughs> is it? Yeah. It's like you've got your own room and apparently this is... This is what they call a queue suite. And apparently this divide goes right down. So we can end up like sharing this as like one whole room. I was hoping that I'd be able to get the video up in time. It took ages to export, and so then it would have uploaded in time, but then we got called to our gate, and obviously as you saw, if I'd stayed to upload this vlog, we would have missed our flight, which after all the stuff that happened beforehand with me worrying about not being able to get, like even about to leave the airport or get out of here, um, I wasn't taking that risk. So, um, I'm now trying to upload off my 4G and not looking good and that's not moved either at all plenty of leg room i still can't quite work out how to do this table release oh there's a button there aha all right okay so got a table there this folds out like that this is massive i'm really excited to put this down completely so it's like we've got our own like room to share We've also got here a diptyque. I'm going to give mine to you. Um, what did you get? Yeah. Chocolates. Ah, are these chocolates do you, as well, do you think? <laughs> these aren't chocolates. What are they then? I'm joking. Oh. Thank you. Um, we've got a quilt, a pillow, which says New York on it. Oh, 
<laughs> um, are you sure we're going to the right place? I've never seen this many buttons for one, but also there's an HDMI slot there and there's a bloody beep contactless for some reason. With an HDMI, it means I quite literally could have brought, if I brought the Switch or even brought the PS5, I could set the PS5 in here and play PS5 on this flight, which is just ridiculous. I kind of regret that I didn't do that. Every time I see this photograph, I always think, oh my God, it does look like <laughs> I always think it's Mikey. It actually does. Right. Oh, I was just about to check him out. Gone. I believe we have a seven hour flight now to Doha and then an hour to connect, get a connecting flight. And then I think it's like a 17 or 12 hours? 12 hour flight we think to Perth. Um, but I've got to say, this is, probably without a doubt, the most impressive, um, the most impressive seat I've ever seen on a plane. Other than one time when I flew with Casper back from Australia once and we had our own little rooms each. Other than that, this is, this is definitely up there. I actually think it's better screens. What I like the most about this is that this screen behind me, I can literally push down and we can shut the doors and essentially have our own room on a plane, which I never thought I'd say, but here we are. Right, let's have a look at what movies we got. Hollywood. Oh my God. Amer I have not seen this film since I was a kid. An American Tale, Five Four. I think I've found the film for me. Also, dying to sleep already, we've not even moved yet. That is one tired, strictly finalist right there. like fast forwarding, rewinding, anything like that, she really, really struggles. Like, this will be going on now, I, I guarantee you, this will be going on for the next five minutes. Still going. We've even got like a little, a little candle on board. Diane is still fast forward and um, rewinding. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to now go back and off. It's got gold on it. Gold? Yes, yeah, not a bit me. I passed on that one. I'll stick to me bread and butter, thanks. No, I'm here, I'm here, Paul and Bob. What did you go for, Doddy? Lobster. We've got a lobster and beef, was it? Lobster and something? Lamb? Oh Out of 10? A 10? Really? Is it that good? Can I try a tiny bit of lobster meat? Just a tiny bit. Whereas I have gone for the traditional Arabic meze. And then finally, we have 
chicken potatoes, a pepper, which I shall generously donate to Diane. There, my darling. Um, and some vegetables, sauteed vegetables or something. But, I mean, for a plain meal, that looks bang on. You are acting like a child. <laughs> I think you should go on kids' movies, stop. Because you can't keep your attention span longer than four minutes on a movie. <laughs> Why you picked Avatar 2? Thinking that you sit there and watch that for an entire Avatar flight one. is beyond me. <laughs> She's gone back to the original film and you're still fast forward and rewinding. What are you doing? Yeah, where is that? Final course. Ben's still getting for her potatoes. Yeah. I'm onto pudding with an assortment of ice cream, blueberries, raspberries, pecan nuts. This looks amazing. The vlog's not loaded, so I'm going to have to hope that I can do it in uh, Doha. But I've just had a sleep. My God, did I need that? This one's already awake. And she's still on this film. Still going, how was it? Finished it yet? No. Hour and 43 minutes left, so enough time to watch a movie. Look, Christmas with the nightly is only 86 minutes. No way. Now this is what I'm talking about. Enough of watching me, let's play some Pac-Man. Oh wow. Say before I said, did I look stupid? And you said no. You don't look stupid. What's wrong with my outfit? <laughs> it's perfect for 35 degree heat. Made it into Doha Airport. We're now there's a lady waiting for us at the gate because our connecting flight is taking off very, very soon. So once again, we're in a little bit of a rush. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen an airport this big but also like so chilled. I don't know if the camera does it justice, just how like crazy and big that ceiling is. And it just goes on and on and on and on. It's like the back rooms, but an airport version. Right, we made it. Turns out it was way more of a rush than we thought. It was last call, but we're on. And it's a big double decker plane this time around. Ooh. Okay, flight two of two. We're still together, sort of. It's quite nice, isn't it? Obviously, because we're in such a rush to get here and get this connecting flight, it means that I thought I had like an hour to sit around and get the vlog up. It's still stuck on 31%, so it's not happening anytime soon. So it's going to go up probably at like four in the morning, potentially, maybe the next day. So apologies, but the vlog is still happening. I'm just playing a bit of catch up. Guys, she just handed me the wine list. She goes, actually, are you over 18? I was like, I love that you just asked me that. <laughs> Can I see some ID, please, miss? Imagine me as a bouncer. No ID, you're not coming in. <laughs> I don't want to overexcite you, Dot. But they've got Tom and Jerry Cowboy up on the movie list and attempting that movie again. selection. We have a assortment of fresh fruits. What film is that from? Next course we have is a omelette and a bit of Home Alone. Oh, hello miss. Uh, I just saw you sat at the bar on your own. Just thought I'd come over and give, uh, give yes, you this. Thank you. Go, <laughs> thought I'd come over and give you one of these. Oh, thank you. Can I wipe with it? <laughs> Can you what? Can I wipe with it? Uh, uh, it's not his intention, but you, yeah, you're more than welcome to. If you, you. if you don't want it, it smells lovely. If you don't want it, I'll give it to him instead. <laughs> Dan's having a morning bath. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you know what I'm trying to do? Yeah. Is exfoliate this tan off. Oh, I want to pick that scab though. Teach Diane the rubber pen trick. Did it? Nah, nearly. Oh, 
Look. Oh. <laughs> Has it gone down the side of the seat? Right down the seat. <laughs> well, at least you, you, did, you did one magic trick, making yeah, the pen disappear. Oh, we're back. We're back. The big whales. The These things, what are they called again? Oh, the pinnacles. Remember the pinnacles? Oh, we saw yes. an emu. Yes, we did it. Where is it? There. Where is the quokka? Kings Park? Is that Kings Park? That's Kings Park. Kings Park, see? Rotnest, Rotto. Rotto Island, which is where you'd find the quokkas. See, Max has come back. There's Margay River. And here we got a little roo, roo on the beach. Where's the quokka though? I've got to say, that is without doubt the quickest we've ever got through like um, immigration or anything like that. To the point, and there's also, there's no one here. The entire airport is completely empty at half six. Right, toilet, suitcases, then on to Andrews and Mel's. Dan's name has been called on the tannoy to go and speak to the people opposite the luggage collection. So she said, stay here and look at the, wait for the luggage. But I've just realized we had such a short turnaround time for the connecting flight. I know what it's about. The luggage receipts in Diane's name, that's why they've called her name. And then she's being told now, I can guarantee you that our bags didn't get from one plane to the other in time. Because realistically, we only just made it. So if, only, if we only just made it, there's no way our bags did. So I think we're gonna go a few days without our luggage. I was right, I called it. I started to wait now, I was like, there's no way our bags are coming out here. If they've been called, if you've been called to the lost luggage desk, then we've oh, definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely not got our cases. So once again, tell mum, we just thought we'd travel like it's a reoccurring then. theme. Whenever I try to travel to the Southern Hemisphere, my bag never turns up, um, but we're gonna have to go. Well, you're all right, because you've got loads of spare clothes at your parents' house. Yeah. Get ready for the heat. Oh, now that's yeah, more like it. To be fair, it's so warm out here. I don't think I actually need clothes. Go to the beach in my pants. We're fine. Australians all around the world, cause we are young and free. So nice to see some sun, like a proper good sunset. Just beautiful. And look, my first Ute spotted. After a very interesting taxi ride of oh my God. Diane basically telling him exactly where to go, being his sat nav, and then she goes to me. Have you farted? You, she whispered, nine. she whispered, have you farted? And I said, no. And all of a sudden the window comes down. So it must've been him that farted. But anyway, we have arrived at Andrew and Mel's house. And it's time to see your Australian family. Hello. G'day, g'day, g'day. <gasps> Hello. 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 Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at your dress. Oh. Hello. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Hello. Hello. There's little babies in there right now. Oh, so that is a bird nest. all the places oh. that came to here. It looks like a wasp nest. No, it's the yeah, tree. Thank, thank God that's not. <laughs> <laughs> you never know in Australia. That would scare me. <laughs> no. We have a little stop off at a Red Roasters. Uh, let's get a cup of tea. And hopefully a toothbrush, because we don't have toothbrushes. But I don't think they sell them here. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Also, you're near in Australia when you can buy fish bait and fishing tackle from a BP garage. Close your eyes, hold your hands up. Oh, nice. There we go. Look at that. Good work, Joseph. We've arrived at Mark and Rena's. Um, and we just realised, we're like, okay, right. Uh, the plugs, I, I've always been like a multi-socket plug with me. So then I just have one adapter, I plug that in um, with the right adapter in, and then it means I can plug everything else in with a British plug and it all just works for me and for Diane. That multi-socket plug is in my suitcase. But do we have an adapter that goes? No, because I always forgot the adapter. <laughs> I've, got, I've got to apply for a visa and I forgot my adapter. <laughs> Basically, I've been all over the place and I blame Vlogmas to be fair. How do I get into this bedding? Yeah, oh. it's really tight. Fair few layers, isn't there? So we don't have clothes. We don't have any way of charging phones no. or laptops. So the vlog is uploading a lot quicker. It's on 40% now. It was on 31 earlier. So it's good upload speed here That's now. So Mark and Rena have improved their broadband. Um, but it does mean that my laptop is currently on 15% battery. My phone is on 7% battery. So I'm not even about to edit this vlog which means I then go two days behind on my Vlogmas, so I've got a lot of catching up to do. Um, but I think first thing tomorrow is probably going out to buy some new clothes, right?
Yes, I think we, we get some clothes. Because <laughs> at the moment, I'd be fair, I might have to wear this. Is uh, these some PJs that uh, Rena bought for us. Mark and Rena bought us some PJs. So I've got these, uh, this little Father Christmas one. Although these palm trees are in quite a suggestive area. Look at the palm tree, yeah. palm tree <laughs> nipples. Um, the only clothes that I left here, when well, my compede's coming off. The only clothes that I left here, I left one item of clothing behind. And it's this, that raucous Australian shirt. I'm going to end this vlog here because we are both absolutely shattered. I think it's like in the UK though, it's almost half past four in the evening. But for us, it's like I've not slept properly. So I'm going to call it a night there. So that's the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, like, share, all that kind of stuff. And hopefully this vlog will reach you along with the others. And we'll catch up. But um, thanks for being patient. And I'll speak to you soon. Good night.